Good evening. Welcome to this week's Spooky Saturdays as we continue Paranormacite! Hoped you got your shittin' pants on, as Negan would say. Cause I do. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's begin. Oh right, uh, we, we did like Beavis and Butthead voices for, for these two. Who was Beavis again and who was Butthead? I already forgot. But no, I, I'm feeling like doing it something something else. Doing a different duel. Uh, what's another duel? Iconic duel besides Beavis and Butthead. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'll just give them California girls voices for now. <clears throat> uh, let's see, we use the spirit board, and I suddenly heard something like this weird voice, and then I passed out? Yes, as far as I can tell, you aren't experiencing any negative effects. Oh wait, what was, what was she gonna give? Oh yeah, I think it was just like a mild shock from how sudden it was. Huh. Ah. Was everything okay with the spirit? Yep, it was almost bad, but I got it to leave. More importantly, what is that thing you have in your hand? Hmm? In my hand? Whoa! Oh, what the heck is this? It looks so freaky. When did I get this? Okay, you know what? This is getting fucking annoying. Uh, it's ruining. <laughs> I'll, I'll try my best to give them different distinctive... Actual voices. Oh, there's so much anger and hatred held within it. it. Looks a little like tools that were used for ancient curses. What? That's so scary. Okay, I, I can't help but give her the accent. I'm sorry. Yako, you just said you heard a strange voice, right? Could you tell me what you heard? Anything you can recall? I think it might be connected to that object. Um, let's see. It felt like I was, it was I was at the bottom of a dark place, but this voice felt like it was echoing in my mind. After that, it just kept shouting, "Kill them!" I see. Thank you. <laughs> no, you joined in at the perfect time, Josh. Welcome. Yako. I think you may have exactly what you need in order to use the right resurrection. A curse with the power to take people's lives and turn them into soul dregs. What? You mean this is a real curse? I know I said I wanted to use the right resurrection to bring back Michio, but... But why? Why me? It makes no sense. Yako, please calm down and listen. I... Uh... Yeah, I'm sorry about panicking. No, it's okay. Fear is something we feel in the face of the unknown. Long ago, people would give names to phenomena they couldn't understand in order to live with them. However, modern day developments in science and culture have pushed for the rejection of things that can't be measured. And so, the paranormal has been treated like it doesn't exist. But they've been around since a long, long time ago. If you just understand, you can see that there's nothing to be afraid of. First, calming down is the most important. Accept reality for what it is. Huh. I only really gave this stuff a shot because it was popular, but... You really do have a connection with this stuff, don't you? Well, I suppose to an extent. Hey, Mio, what do I do? Where do I start? Am I cursed? Am I going to die? It's okay. I'll take care of the curse. That's why I'm here in the first place. What? Trust me. <clears throat> I'll take care of things. It'll be all right. Thanks. I was the one who dragged you along to do the spirit board. It's fine. You're desperate to find a way to try and help your friend. But spirit boards are dangerous. You have to take them seriously. So I'm glad you invited me. Alright, 
let's review everything we've learned so far and think of how to move forward. Okay. What is this curse? Am I cursed? Well, I've only looked into it a little, but I wouldn't quite say you're cursed. It's more like you've gained the ability to use the power of a curse. So there shouldn't be any kind of negative paranormal effect on you. The power to use a curse? Uh, do you mean this curse stone? Yes, but the curse stone is used under certain conditions. A curse will be placed on someone, taking their life and turning into soul drags. Soul drags are said to be acquired to enact the rite of resurrection. Normally, a curse is a spell that would only be useful by Onmyoji of considerable talent. I believe that curse stone makes it so that even normal people can use them. So, someone like me with no knowledge could curse someone? Yes, but it's still nothing to take lightly. You should end up having a redirected right at you. To tell you the truth, something unusual did happen while we were using the spirit board. It happened right around at midnight, I think. This whole area seems to be under the effect of the Feast of Shadows. The Feast of Shadows? Yes! It's a type of spell that temporarily boosts the potency of the supernatural. It also has the effect of making the powers of a certain curse echoes manifest more easily. Judging by strength, I'd say it probably covers about a 3 or 4 kilometer radius. 3 or 4 kilometers? Uh, that's big enough to cover all of Sumida City. Okay, that tripped me up a little. Is it kilometers or kilometers? I know I've been saying kilometers this whole time, but like... Ah oh man, English is weird. <clears throat> Anyways. Yes, I think the Feast of Shadows was used to create... Ah, uh, to cause the resentment lingering in the area to manifest as curse stones. Someone did this. Uh, but who? I don't know enough to say. But it's likely that it was done by someone who wants to uncover the Rite of Resurrection. I was driving an open YouTube on a highway. Whoa, hey, hey, no, no uh, texting while driving. Careful there, buddy. I just listen to podcasts and see streams from my own view. It's like you're playing with your dolls. I burst out laughing. It's just in this case, because, you know, they're... they're Girls, I mean, what what other voice am I supposed to give them, right? <laughs> but hey, at least you're at least you're having a good time. That's what that's what this is for, right? This isn't something that happened naturally. I see. Speaking of dolls, you know, a lot of dolls in here. Do I really have to go through this shit again? A curse stone's power can only be used in this area under the influence of the Feast of Shadows. I mean, I guess I'm learning new things about it. Effects also only appear after the sun has set. By setting a limit on when they can be used, the curses are strengthened. So the curses can be used outside this area or during the day. Ah, uh, sorry, wrong voice. Ah, whatever. <laughs> Correct. But speaking of limits, to actually use a curse to kill someone, it seems there are conditions that need to be met. Conditions? You mean like how my cursed echo needs someone to listen to the sound it makes for 30 seconds? To be honest, I don't really understand it. Like, how do I even summon the curse echo or make the sound? Do I just, like, will it? Do you mind if I try? Stop, stop, stop! You should be using curses so willy nilly! You know, there are conditions that have to be met. The power to kill someone without leaving behind evidence is dangerous enough. In that sense, maybe you really have been cursed. I'm sorry that you got wrapped up in this situation even though I'm here with you. That curse stone, I think whoever holds it becomes a curse bearer. It would probably be best for me to hold on to it, but then I feel bad about forcing it on you. Uh, no, I sense a powerful force rejecting me. I don't think I'd be able to take it. Really? Why? If we tried separating from you, the curse may trigger. That's how bad I sense it wants to stay with you. No way. That curse stone might look like nothing more than an old Netsuke carving. But I can sense a powerful, resentful energy from it. I don't think it's a good idea for me to even touch it. I 
always seem like I know what I'm doing, but I don't know how to handle something this powerful. Really? This little thing? If you threw it away and someone with bad ideas picked it up, it could be bad. I think it would be safer to avoid the risk of getting anyone else involved and have you hold on to it for now. Uh, well, now I'm kind of freaked out. Anyways, we need to make it to daybreak. I think the curse should weaken once it's morning. I'll help you find a way to deal with it then. Okay. So there are two things you should remember. First, do not fulfill the conditions while it's night. Second, should you happen to fulfill the conditions, don't use the curse. R -r right. <clears throat> the mysterious voice said the curse stone is called the Fool's Possession, right? Yeah, that's from the Seven Mysteries of Honjo, right? Our school is said to be connected with a story with the same name. One of the mysteries. Alright, I don't think it's a coincidence. This is just a guess, but it's possible that you were chosen because it could fill your desire for the right of resurrection. If this is the curse of the severed mysteries of Honjo, then it's possible that there are others who received curses associated with the other mysteries. Uh, yeah, that voice also said that there are other curse bearers or whatever you called them. Not only that, Apparently, you can get a lot of soul tricks by killing a curse bearer. Alright, that's certainly not good. Even if we have no intention of killing others with the curse, there's a chance we may be targeted while the curse bearers find us. Eeh! <coughs> Want to avoid anyone who has another of the curses. That means we should avoid people at night as much as possible. Uh, but Mio? Yes? If this curse is real... That means I could bring back Michi if I used it, right? The Red of Resurrection would be real too. Eh, yes, that's true. Is it really worth it killing someone to bring back some friend that isn't even that close to you? But you can't do that, Yako. But it feels like it's not the time to worry about that kind of stuff. If Michio died in an accident, I'm, uh, then I'm sure she didn't want to die. Oh, what's the issue with putting a little curse on a complete stranger? Yo, she crazy. What? What the fuck kind of logic you on, girl? Hey, yo, chill. She died by accident, so somehow killing someone else deliberately makes it better? Hello? I sort of feel like it wouldn't be a big deal. What's going on with you? You're not acting like yourself, Yaku. Yes. She's got a point there, yes. I, I like Mio, she's like a voice of reason. In this whack-ass fucking plot. Oh, thank you, Josh. I'm, I try my best. Genuinely. I'm trying right now. <laughs> you would never even consider taking the life of another person. I guess that's just what the curse does. It, it messes with your mind, right? Is it the curse's influence on you? Maybe the curse echoes grudge is rubbing off on you. Will you show show me for a second? Oh no, you done goofed. Hmm. Is there something inside it? Okay. Hey, hope hope you make it home safe, Josh. No, stop, Yako. Oh, I'm sorry, but it's like I just only really didn't want you to touch it. Ah, uh, yeah. So the curse taken over. Her. I understand. I'm sorry. But you need to give up on the Red of Resurrection. What? Because that's the real curse. Using Resurrection as a lore it tempts curse bearers into using their curses. You have to resist it. Don't let yourself be deceived by some curse. But, but Michio could. I think for tonight we should get you home to rest. I'll walk you. The curse's influence should subside in the morning. Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm telling you that you need to give up on the right. It's beyond us. Even a single curse stone alone is too much to handle. Bringing back the dead isn't something so simple. I know how much it hurts, but please focus on just worrying about surviving tonight. Even now, we're in great danger. Okay. Let's get going then, shall we? We'll take the same route we took to get here. Er, uh, right. Well, we'll be fine, right? Th there's no one else at school, is there? I think so. The night shift janitor shouldn't be patrolling this late at night either. Ah! Huh? What? 
Why did the lights go out? Bio? Are you okay? Hello? Mio? She's not here. What's happening? Where? Where are you? <laughs> Jump scare time. Mm. Ah, shit. Oh, oh. Mio. This way! Over here! Be careful! Your field of vision is being limited! R right! The anti-jump scare. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Alright. Let's escape from our high school. Let's get the fuck out of our high school. Fuck high school. Yako Sakazaki, 1 a.m. I'm sorry, Josh. I couldn't help it. Hey, Mio. What was that just now? Could it be another curse cycle different from mine? I think so, yes. It may have been discovered by another curse bearer. Oh. Hmm? What's wrong? Shh. Someone's there, in that classroom. What? Hey, Theory Mori. Oh yes, Miracle Johnson. Who? Black or white? Something moved inside. Uh, well. Oh man, what what's oh no, what, this is gonna be a tough choice. Okay. Ah oh, wait, uh let me adjust the screen brightness. Ah oh, fuck, that's too bright. Mabushi. Mabushi. That's the Japanese saying. Okay, should we ignore it and proceed or check it out stealthily? Hmm. I feel like if we want to avoid the fate of a dumb person in a horror film, we ignore and proceed. However, in this case, you know, you want to make sure you're not being tailed, being watched. You want to make sure that there, there are no loose ends. You can't take any chances. So I'm thinking check it out stealthily. Oh, uh, man. What, what should we do here? Thing is, we're in a horror game. We're in a horror film. But, yes. This is, uh, there's a bit of nuance going on here. Ah! Oh, somebody help me! Ah, oh, this, this Josh guy's kidnapping me! Help! Help! Call 911! Call the ambulance! There, that did it for you? <laughs> I'm sorry, Josh. I love, I love you guys. I, I'm just messing around. Okay. Oh... Uh... You know what? We should probably ignore and proceed, but at the same time, what if the curse, like, what if we're, we're we activate the curse? You know? Fuck. Like, if if the curse is like us turning our backs, like how Shogo had his curse, then we'd be fucked. But at the same time, I I feel like either way we're fucked. Damn it. Ah, uh, this is such a tough choice. Who? Hee hee. I've 
been struck by, I've been caught by a, a smooth criminal. Okay. Fuck. What do I choose? Oh, does my choice matter? I feel like my choice matters from experience. Hold up, let me. I, I don't like ruminating, but fuck, man. Check it out stealthily. All right, Josh. You know what? As as a as a, a way of apologizing for you know messing with you. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll check it out stealthily. It might be the curse bear who used that curse echo just now. If we can see who it is, it might help us decide what to do later. That's true. Okay, be careful. Well, can you see anything? Try and get a look around. <sighs> I'm playing with the lights off right now. Why? Why? Fuck. Oh. Okay, that isn't too bad. Ah! Huh? Is that our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jo Mr. Jonochi? The person with him is Hitomi. From class A? What? Oh my, huh? what is going on here? Ah! That bastard! He's at it again! I have to kill him! Uh, yo. At, at what again? What is what is he doing? What? What what's going on here? Okay, I'm just gonna use the curse, cause either way, I feel like the curse is going to be used. So yeah, G Ginocchi being a bit sus here. He, he being a bit sus for real. Extra credit. Yeah, fuck this. Fuck this guy with the weird ass haircut. Hey! Die! Die, Mr. Ginocchi! What? What is this sound? No! Yako, stop! You killed the Tommy too! I have to do something! Ha! Huh? Hmm? Hey! Over there! Uh, who's there? Huh? I was seen? It didn't work. Run! Hurry! Well, that wasn't good. Well, shit. coming after us. I hope they didn't see our faces. But Yako, what came over you all of a sudden? <sighs> oh, sorry. Thanks for stopping me. It's like this uncontrollable rage suddenly welled up inside me. Yeah, Jojo part six. We white snake in this bitch. I wonder what's gotten into me. I can barely even remember what's what happened. I'm really sorry. I do think it's partly the curse's influence on you, but we certainly saw something shocking. Theory, stop. Stop. No. My heart's still pounding. I'm a little surprised you know Hitomi from Class A. She tends to stand out a lot. Gotcha. Well, she certainly does dress like a delinquent, though she barely shows up to school. But... Can Mr. Ginocchi or Hitomi really be a curse bear? Oh shit. What the hell is that? You are so fucked. We are, you guys are so fucked. I don't know. We should be careful just in case. Yako. Hmm? When I give the signal, run. Go straight for the entrance. Don't look back, no matter what. Huh? W why? Did something happen? Something happened, didn't it? What about you, Mio? I'll be fine. We'll meet up outside the school gates. If I'm not there in ten minutes, go straight home, okay? Okay! Go! Alright! Don't look back! Don't look back! Run! 
I have to get outside. Let's see. To get to the gates, I go by the gym and... Oh my god. Don't do this to me, game. Hmm. What are you doing this? You should be here this late. Don't you know what time it is? Oh! Mr. Ashimiya. Well, if it isn't the, the, the little Yaku. Anyway, students ain't supposed to be outside playing around at night. School janitor, Makoto Ashimiya. I know you're rough around the edges, but I didn't take you for one to act out like this. Uh, sorry, I forgot something back in the classroom. Hmm? No sass today, huh? Realized you were in the wrong, did you? Yes. Forgot something in your classroom, huh? You're a piece of work. Hmm? But you don't have nothing with you. Oh! Wait, you do? Uh, what's that in your hand? Huh? Well, um... This is what I forgot. I, uh, got it from my grandpa. It's really important to me. You know, <laughs> I actually kind of see it. He, he does look like a mix of Shinada and Akiyama. So you see, I was thinking more like a scrawny Nanba. That works. Hmm. Girls these days sure have weird tastes. Well, okay. Better head straight home if you're done. I won't tell on you. No, wait. I, I can't let you walk home this late. All right, wait just a little. I'll hurry and lock things up. Ah, but... No, she should check on her friend. Because what, what if the janitor has a curse too, right? You, you can't trust anyone at this point. Um, actually, a friend of mine is still inside. I think they'll be here soon. That's so? Who's your friend? Um, my classmate Miro Kurosuzu. Ah, that transfer student. Breaking school rules already, huh? Didn't take care for the tap. I know, I was the one who dragged her here. <clears throat> well, whatever. I'll go take a look. It'll be safer if you go home together. Oh, right. She's in the first floor hallways. Be careful, though. You don't know what may be there. Be careful, janitor. You seem like a cool guy. You seem like a chill guy. Watch out, all right? I don't want anything bad happening to you. What's that supposed to mean? First floor, yeah? I'll be right back. Okay, no. She sent him to his death. Okay, that's kind of cold. Not gonna lie. To be fair... Okay, I, I'm exaggerating. She She's doing that for the sake of her friend. Yeah, okay, anyways. Come on, get to high school entrance. This school is haunted now. She's late. I've been waiting for 20 or 30 minutes, but there's no sign of her. I'm starting to get worried. I'm going to take a look. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Mio? Are you there? I'll, I'll be honest, guys. This this saga right now is the most unnerving of all the other ones. Huh? Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, no! Why did I go wrong this time? R Press F in the chat, boys. She was a real one. Ah, it's my fault. It's all my fault. I left her alone with the curse bear. Oh no, and now the, the janitor too. Mio. Uh, sorry, I... The truth is... Uh, ah! We died? Ah, uh, shit! We died! Oh, 
Oh, no! My, my, Shimano. You seem to have arrived at a less than favorable result. But this was bound to happen. There's someone who must not be trusted. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? If so, you may choose to withhold important information from that person. Fear not. You may try as many times as you like from the event in question. V very well. Oh, so it's this- you- this fucker! This motherfucker! Okay. I- I see. See, looks can be deceiving. But, you don't have nothing with you. Oh! Wait, you do? What's that in your hand? Huh? Well, well, ah, uh, look at this, ah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, you know what? Yeah, she did tell us to go straight home. So we're going to heed Mio's advice whether she's alive in this case or not. Oh, right. Mr. Genocchi was actually looking for you inside the main building. Was that? He's here right now? What's he thinking? I don't know. He was in class 3B on the second floor just a bit ago. Well, I suppose that means I can't be locking up yet. Second floor, he said. I'll go take a peek. Be back in a jiff. Um, my house is really close by. I'll be fine on my own, really. That's so? Ah, oh, the snack shop, right? Suppose you'll be fine, then. Be careful now, you hear? Stay on the big, well-lit streets. If something happens, shout fire. Okay, you worry too much. Well... We wouldn't want to be losing any more students. Though I'd imagine you know that better than anyone. Yes, you're right. Yako Sakasaki, 2 a.m. Komagata High School, front gate. late. I've been waiting for 20-30 minutes. There's no sign of her. Huh? There's someone coming down the road. That's... Oh, God. Oh, oh, never mind. That's somebody else. Oh, no. Teacher. It's Mr. Araishi. Part-time teacher, Hideki Araishi. What the fuck's he doing here? Random ass mofo. He looks on edge. I wonder what he's doing. Hmm? That thing in Mr. Rashi's hand. It can't be. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa. Could that be a curse stone? Oh, this is bad. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I don't think anything good can come from him seeing me. Wait. He's the one who discovered the right of resurrection. It wouldn't be strange for all of him. It wouldn't be strange at all for him to have something to do with the curses. Then, could the curse echo from before have belonged to him? Ah! Shoot, did he notice me? Oh, hello, Yaku. What are you doing here? Ah! Oh, that was fast. Did you not hear me? What are you doing here? Hi! Okay, this dude looks fucking evil. What the hell? Uh, What's the play here? What's the play here? Shit! Look at this evil, sussy looking guy. Fucking villain vibes right here. Uh... No, leave. Right, leave. I forgot something. No! I thought she meant she forgot something at home. She's gonna go home and get it, and then she forget that she's gonna go back. Fuck! Okay, no, wait, wait. Um, I couldn't get something I forgot at school. 
This late at night? It couldn't wait until tomorrow? Um, no, it couldn't wait. Just what did you forget? Is that what's in your pocket? Take it out and show it to me. But, um, yes. Ah! Stop it! Oh, boy. I knew it. I see. You have one. Um, it's not. That Netsuke is one of great historical importance to the area. But it's dangerous to speak here. Why don't you come with me? This is important. Ah! That hurts! Stop! You're hurting me, Mr. Urashi! Stop pulling me! Ah! Fire! There's a huge fire! Th stop that! Someone will come! Damn it! Get over here! Get over here! Ah! ah! Where am I? It's completely dark. What's the meaning of this, Mr. Aishi? Ah! Ah! What? My stomach. It hurts. I'm bleeding. Ah! 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 Oh, boy. Ah, shit, here we go again. Witness the death of Yaku Sakazaki? Okay, deja vu. Wait, what? Wait, what, what, what? It would be difficult for Yaku to escape from Arashi while he's in possession of a cursed. Oh! So we were doomed either way! Shit! Bro, this game is a wild ride. Yeah, Theori Mori, holy Jesus. All right, let's go back to your favorite character and also this cool uh, uh, moth Yakuza looking dude. Tetsuo Susumi. That's his name, right? All right, what voice did I give him? Shit, I forgot. I think I gave him like a uh, mafia voice? Like a uh, Vito Corleone? Okay, Ariel, right. Ariel, hey, it's your favorite character. It's your boy, Ariel. Yay! Okay, so let me get this straight, boss. The right of resurrection really exists. And to use it, you have to kill people using the power of curses from the seven mysteries of Honjo. And the curse you have is from the story of the Evergreen Beach. That's told in this area. Is that right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. You're quick on the uptake. You weren't your usual silly self when you were explaining, so I know you were telling the truth. I'm never silly. The only thing I have trouble believing is that you're taking this occult stuff seriously now. I mean, talk about paranormal. I thought you didn't believe in any of that. It's not that I don't believe in it. My familiarity with it is why I've tried not to get too close. Ah, uh, are you just being a sore loser? Not used to admitting you were wrong? Oh, shut up and listen to me. <sighs> no point in trying to hide things anymore. We won't get anywhere if you don't understand this, so listen up. <clears throat> Please, just listen. Shut the fuck up. You don't have to keep saying it. I'm, I'm listening. We don't have time to waste. We'll talk as we walk. Hey! Hey! Wait for me, boss! Oh, okay. I'm digging, I'm digging this uh, 80s cop vibe. All right. What, what a change of tone. Especially from what we were... Just witnessing earlier. But yeah, this this dude's definitely a yakuza at some point. Uh, so sorry, I just want to double check one thing. You're telling me the truth, right? This isn't a side effect of your senility. It's the truth. Not like I can prove it though. This freaking '80s crime action flick, crime drama flick. Vibe going on. I, I dig it. I'm 
sure you already know this, but this is all top secret. No sharing it with anyone. Right, you can trust me not to. But... No, I, I just can't believe it. I've heard rumors that you used to be a member of a secret division attached to the security bureau. I can't believe we ha actually have a department called Paranormal Affairs. Yeah, I'm sure it comes as a shock. I couldn't believe it myself. I thought the high elves were messing with me. Really had me worried for a while there. N no, this is incredible. That's the whole reason I became a cop. I was always fascinated by secret agencies and stuff. You serious? Uh, but thinking about it, it totally makes sense. If curses and spirits really do exist, then of course we need a special department to protect citizens from them. Department, not department. This is in fucking Boston. You seem a bit too eager to believe all of this. And uh, hang on, I thought you joined up because of me. Uh, come on, boss. Come on, boss. Do you really have one favorite food? You can like more than one thing. Yeah, yeah, whatever. In any case, the official stance is that the supernatural doesn't exist. It's a paranormal affair that operates in secret. Still not sure why they stuck me here. Those four years I worked nothing but cases involving the supernatural. So, do you, you know, have it? Have what? Spirit sense, of course! Are you what they call spiritually gifted? No, nope. never felt anything at all. Even if I did, I'd be alive with the best. One being, I'm down for the count. Oh. Huh. Is that how people in the field qualify, quantify someone's spirit sense? Uh, what, why did I go something there? Spirit sense? Like how much liquid they can handle? Nope, that's just me. Thought it'd help get the point across. Oh. Huh. Sorry. Seems like I keep disappointing you. Uh, no, it's not your fault, boss. At the risk of disappointing you yet again, I'll tell you one more thing. Spirit sense is usually something you're born with. It's tough to develop it later on. What? So there's no hope for me? No. Say it isn't so. Say it isn't so. Of course you were interested. Well, you never know. You may have some hidden potential. I know there's a high schooler who's got so much spirit sense that she works on the front line. I say work, but she wasn't paid because it was supposedly part of a training. Yikes. That seems like it'd be in violation of Article 69. Nice. Of the Labor Standards Act. Well, you really know the law. No comment. Even the occult field has worker rights issues, huh? So, what do we know? We got this right of resurrection and the curse echoes of the seven mysteries of Honjo. The curse is being spread out around the city is a bit of an emergency. Is that bad? I'll put it this way. It's like handing out guns all over town. What is this, America? Jeez, that's real bad! It is. So we need to find the source and put a stop to it before something terrible happens. Usually that'd be a job for paranormal affairs, but... I talked to them on our way here. The main team is tied up till tomorrow night. So they told me to deal with it myself. Damn, that is a lot of work just to unload on one dude. I feel for this guy. Holy shit! Said it'd be fun since I have some experience. Huh? What? Then that overtime you mentioned means... Yep, you're gonna help me, partner. All right, let's do this! You seem a bit too eager to dive into all this. You really have no reservations of working in case you know nothing about? You said this was an emergency. I didn't think we had a choice. I just try to be logical about this, boss. You really are something. It might actually be nice having you around. Oh, why, thank you! I have a brother named Phoenix. How could you tell? See, this this guy, I don't see why you guys hate him. He, he reminds me of Maya. He's like the male version of Maya. 
he's the Maya to this guy's Phoenix. Well, in this case, he's more of a gumshoe, but still, you, you get what I mean. For real, though, you ever just you ever just dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? So, what exactly do we do? If these curses are connected to the seven mysteries, then the people of the others should be healed all around the town. Right. If there's seven of them, that means there are six more out there. We have to stop them all before they kill anyone with the curses. If we can, we should finally collect all the curse stones. But boss, from what you said earlier, killing a curse bearer gets you closer to completing the Rite of Resurrection. I have no idea who that is, buddy. Sorry. Won't your life be in danger if they find out you're a curse bearer? Pretty much. We can't let that happen. Should you even be out here right now? Hiding would only be a waste of time. The mystery of the one-sided reed is associated with Rio Goku Bridge. I was hoping we'd be quick enough to run to the one-sided reed's curse bearer. No such luck, it seems. Well, if nothing else, maybe what will spread that the cops are on the lookout and people will behave. That's putting a lot of trust in whoever these other people are. But, it's possible that some other curse bearers with the same idea will come here. Talk to anyone you see who seems suspicious. <laughs> that means uh, uh, someone who may have the power of a curse. <sighs> Understood. In that case. Oh! Why don't I ask that guy who's been watching us this whole time? I see a little silhouette of a man. What do you know? There's someone there. Good luck. Hey, you there. Sorry to bother you, but I've got some questions. I'm with the police. I'm guessing that's Shogo. No? Oh, shit. Thanks for your cooperation. We'll be asking you a few things, mister. Yutaro Namigaki. That's your name, correct? Uh, yes. I don't mind answering your questions. You're a detective? Did something happen? Oh right, lots of things have been happening around here. Like people dying? You really trying to fuck around with these cops right now? You really trying to fuck around with these cops? <laughs> Freddy, Freddy Ariel Mercury goes crazy. That, that, that. It's got a nice ring to it. Freddy Ariel Mercury. Freddy Ariel Mercury. I, I don't know, it's just such a catchy name. Alright, since since we already know what happened last time, uh just to play it safe here, let's turn off the sound for this game. Cause you know this guy's curse and all that. Yeah, you don't wanna fuck around with that. Alright. <clears throat> So, what is it you are doing here? Ah, uh, it might be the incident at the former Yasa Gardens. The dead policeman? I can't imagine a detective would come out, come, come all the way out here otherwise. Huh? Same, Mr. Detective. Have you ever heard of the Evergreen Beach? You gotta be forceful, Detective. How about you answer my question first? What were you doing here? I was answering your question. I came here to look for the Evergreen Beach of the Seven Mysteries of Honjo. Actually, I was wondering if either of you knew anything about it. Oh boy. Whoever gave Nami the Nigerian... Ah! Konbanwa Nobu-san! Yokoso! Nope. Sorry. Really? How strange. Detectives, you have the curse stone of the Evergreen Beach, don't you? You! Uh, how did you know? Ariel, you... Ariel, you idiot! 
Well, that was much easier than expected. Oh, crap! Uh, sorry! It was simple inference. I figured you would have taken the curse if you were just in the gardens. If you know that, then, you must be a curse bearer yourself. I have no intentions of hiding anything. I planned to tell you from the start. Look, this is my curse stone. I believe it's called the Foot Washing Mansion. Uh, that's right, but are you sure about this? I'm not so, I'm not so rash that I kill someone as soon as I found out they were a curse bearer. Not without talking to them first. You're the same, aren't you detectives? You wouldn't use a curse on a normal person. Let's speak as equals, shall we? Well, what should we do here, boys? I feel like in character, I feel like this guy has the most control over his urges. So he wouldn't be using the curse. And also, I turn off sound so this guy can't do shit to us. Aerial use under pressure. It's, that's, the, that's the next musical puns and references we're doing. Queen, for, for whatever reason. Freddie Mercury from New York. Uh, uh, boss? Sure. We'd rather resolve this amicably too. But before we talk, there's something I should tell you. Hmm? This is my curse stone. The Evergreen Beach, just like you thought. What? What, what boss? Why would you tell him? That's for how the curse works. Boss! Are you having another senior moment? If you tell him that! And thanks to death, anyone who tried to mislead me. Oh! Damn, that's, that's a pretty OP curse. If, if he's telling the truth. So you try to lie to me. The curse stone will let me know. I don't have to use it to tell. Understand? What? Oh, really? That's super useful. Damn, that is like the perfect curse stone to have on a detective. Holy shit, that is OP. <laughs> he does look like a Reddit user. I see. Understood. That's a pretty useful power for a detective. Now then, let's talk. Damn, it seems I've lost the upper hand. No point for petty tricks then. I'll be honest with you. Okay, like we could easily use it on him, but at the same time, I think it'd be funny if he tried to use his curse on us and then we're like, hey yo, it's not working. Right? Right? Right, chat? All right, you know what? Let's risk it. Let's risk it, boys. All right, let's uh let's uh save over this one. Let's let's play around with him. Let let's let's just really nail it in. Uh, plus we already turned off the sound. So So far so good. There's someone I would want. There's someone I want to bring back, so I'd like your assistance in collecting soul dregs. Can't help you. Please, all you have to do is tell me who the other curse bearers are. Sorry, but as a police officer, I can't look the other way and let you go. Please, if you help me, I'll let you two go as well. Is that a threat? <laughs> no. It's your final warning. Ugh! My curse! The foot-washing mansion! Did you really think you could escape it just by being careful? It didn't matter to me which of you was the curse bearer! I'll be taking both of your soul dregs anyway! Wait! Namigaki! The foot-washing mansion is a powerful curse, and so simple to activate! It is ready whenever I need it! There is no escape from the voice of my feet! There you go. Get out of here. Hurry. I'll find you later. What? Uh, okay. Too late. Hear the voice of my curse echo. Ugh. The voice of his curse echo. 
<laughs> what? Why isn't my curse echo working? Impossible! Masaka! This never happened! What's happening? I don't hear anything. Ariel, now! Grab him! Uh, right! Yeah, that's right. Get shit on. Namigaki, get down! Ah! Damn it! Bro, bro's got a foot fetish. Boss, here! His custom! Good work. Give it to me. Nice! See, we did that without killing anyone. Uh, so the in-character option is possible. Okay, we didn't have to prematurely curse anyone there. Our choice worked out perfectly. Damn it! Why? What do you think, boss? Should we lock him up? I haven't even touched you! You can't consider that assault of a police officer! Let him go. All we need is a stone. Uh, how could this happen? My red resurrection! Give it up. Though I was too good to be true from the start. I don't know what happened to you, but you better be off mourning whoever you lost the right way. Now get out of here. Damn it. Holy shit, that was cool. Whew, that was a close one, huh, boss? Alright, let's turn back the music. I think we're good. I think we're good. Ah, oh, that, that felt good. We'd probably be dead if he activated his curse. Yeah, I'm not sure what, but something stopped his curse from. Oh! Ah, uh, shit, here we go again. Boss, are you okay? Does having another curse don't hurt? Yeah, the curse from this one is flowing through me too. Oh no! That's how it activates the curse of the foot-washing mansion, and the resentful memory is bound to it. Ah, I see. I always thought this was, this was one of the stranger of the Seven Mysteries. And now I know why. This sure is something. What? What did you see? Let's save that for later. All I need to know for now is there's a particularly powerful curse. We're lucky we took it from him quickly. Bro, this guy did not have any, like, hallucinations or anything. His his mind's just built different. He didn't let that shit get to him at all. <clears throat> uh... Singapore ni iku. Oh, nice. Uh, I, I don't recognize the, the, some of the kanji here. Tomorrow, ashita yoru, tomorrow evening, right? Tomorrow evening, boku, boku wa Singapore. Ah, uh, is that boku? That, uh, that you're going to Singapore. Hey, hope you enjoy, man. I hear the food's really good. <clears throat> Whew. <laughs> Truth, your yes. Bro, bro took the stand away from him like freaking, freaking poochie with the CDs. Well, that makes one stone. Where do we go now? No, but no, no joke though. These two guys, this tree, this duel right here, especially that guy, Sumi, most OP characters so far. We'll visit all the places associated with the mysteries while it's still dark out. You mean we have to do that all over again? I hope they are not. I hope they aren't all as aggressive as. Blah, blah, blah. I hope they aren't all as aggressive as him. But people will do crazy things to be to bring back someone they love. What 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 you won't do? Do for love. You try everything, but you won't give up. It seems that the hatred the cuss stones are imbued with makes people more willing to kill. Boss, what the fuck you were singing just there? I, I didn't sing anything, shut up. Really? Uh, then what about you, boss? I'm fine. I may not have any spirit sense, but I'm tough when it comes to this stuff. Dude, dude's built different for real. That's why they loved me in paranormal affairs. 
So you are spiritually gifted after all. <laughs> all right, let's head. Let's head to the next place. True epic rap battles of uh, history about to happen. The day after tomorrow. Ah, uh, asate, asate. Right. That's what the kanji was. Yeah, I figured that's what you mean. But yeah, enjoy your trip, man. <clears throat> All right, next stop. Let's go. I like these guys. Wait, in the morning? Oh, 1 a.m., okay. Okay, this creepy teacher, who's clearly the bad guy. Excuse me, sorry to bother you, but we have some questions for you. <clears throat> what? Uh, uh, are you with the police? I haven't done anything. Don't worry, this isn't an interrogation or anything, we just want to talk. You're Hideki Araishi, right? The historian? We know who you are. We know who you are, so this won't take long. But since we saw you here, we'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Well, well let's get it over with. I'm a busy man. Wait, hold up. Let me uh, get some water. <clears throat> you know, funny thing. I had a coworker who looks exactly like him, <laughs> Mr. Araishi. <laughs> really nice guy though, he's like the opposite of this guy. Now, Mr. Araishi, what were you doing here at this time of night? D -d doing research, of course. Day or night, information never sleeps. Yeah, that is kind of wild. That's an admirable philosophy. You know your research has been quite a talk around town. What was it they were saying? You discovered something about some book? Ah, shit. What was it? It was one of these. It was one of these. Record of Fates. There we go. Record of Fates. Okay, but first... Okay, let's uh, let's go over the <clears throat> the possible curses real quick. Whispering Canal was... I think Whispering Canal was the one we got. Fool's Possession. Fool's Possession was the one the girl got. Beckoning Light was the mystery kidnapper guy. Oh! <coughs> oh! Wait! Was... Uh, is Arashi the, the Beckoning Light guy? That's the, that's the guy Shogo. We, we killed in the... Ah, so that's why the girl w died in the darkness. Ah, because oh, oh. Okay, so as long as we as we have the light, a light source, we, we should be being chilling. Okay, but just in case it isn't, haunting clappers. Okay, who has the haunting clappers again? Oh, right. It, it was... Yeah, okay. There we go. It was uh, the, the lady. And then this is what we have. Most OP freaking curse. Paired with a detective. Most OP curse pairing ever. Okay, then we, it was this guy. <coughs> Wash. Okay, ever burning land. Oh, but it could also be possibly this mystery curse. So we can't take our chances, but at the same time, we've already seen what happened. Anyways, record of fate. All right, you found some kind of ritual in the record of the fates. What? Don't tell me you want to know how to carry out the rite of resurrection too. 
To be perfectly honest, I'm tired of people asking me about it all the time. None of you even care about the local history. You just come crawling out of the woodwork when something interesting comes up. Looks like I hit a nerve. If you think you can force me to tell you because you're a policeman, you're sorely mistaken. Was research we're doing just now also related to the Rite of Resurrection? Well, yes, that's right. What exactly were you looking for? Uh, I have no reason to tell you that. You wouldn't understand anyway. What was the research? <clears throat> Are you doing all this research so you can use the Rite of Resurrection yourself? Hmm. You're a policeman. Do you really think people can be brought back to life? Everyone I meet, pitiful. Huh. So you don't believe in the right? Whether it's real or not has nothing to do with my research. <clears throat> Such things are better left to the occult freaks. Or so I thought. Hmm? Things changed. It has become necessary for me to pursue the right. So now, I pray that it is real. What changed? I'm sure you can imagine the funds for my research. I receive a large amount of funding for seeking the right of resurrection. And if I find it, I'll receive a sum so great that I'll never have to worry about money again. Oh, then that means... Someone is sponsoring your research. Is that right? Someone sponsoring your research. So what if they are? You have no idea how hard we work to secure funding for our research. I have no interest in teaching those children. Listen to me. I'll tell you one thing. Those experts you see writing provocative books or spouting nonsense on TV to try to get popular... All of them are just trying to get the money they need to do their research. With how popular the occult is, saying something even remotely spooky can lead to big money. What? But I bought your book! The pursuit of the unknown begins, first and foremost, with belief. I was so inspired by that bit. Never meet your heroes, buddy. I do appreciate your patronage. 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 Unfortunately, however, the occult is not my true interest. The fate of the unknown is to be destroyed by thorough research and deep consideration. No way. I can't believe it. <clears throat> Truth. Blood thinks he's Doc Ock. <laughs> you are surprisingly innocent. Then what kind of research do you want to be doing? I'm sure it wouldn't interest you, but to put it simply, the focus of my research is how historical accounts transform into folklore over the years as they are passed down from generation to generation. What does that mean? Due to human bias, the account of any event is inevitably changed by the person communicating it. This is not necessarily done with ill intentions. It happens when someone tries to fill in the gaps in a story that lacks detail or when something's left out or abridged because of the story's length, or when a story twists and shifts as it spread through oral tradition. <clears throat> Even when two stories are told about the same event, different in differences in culture or environment affect how it's told, changing its content. Silly little things can turn into terribly mysterious legends. My research is the study of how history, culture, and legend all influence each other. Hmm. Huh. I see. Take the seven mysteries of Honjo, for example. Why are some of the mysteries seemingly about nothing particularly interesting? You'd think some stories wouldn't last a decade, let alone hundreds of years, so why? Perhaps putting it that way piques your interest. I admit I am curious. So that's what you've been researching all this time. Uh, makes sense. 
That is true. Do do this the verb do the silver bows. <laughs> As I said, it doesn't matter to me whether the right exists or not. If people in the Edo period believed that what was written in the record of fates was real, that's all I'm interested in. But I have to be realistic. The research I'd like to do is unfortunately not very lucrative. That's why I need to take some risks. This, uh, record of fates. Where did you get your hands on it? The storehouse of an old private residence in the city, just as the public was told. I'm unable to be more precise due to an agreement with my informant. Grass grows, birds fly, sun shines, and brother, I arrest people! It's because I'm trying to give him a New York accent, but I keep conflating it with a Boston accent, but then there's like so much overlap anyways. So yeah, that's why Ed Ariel kind of sounds like the scout from TF2. Not intentional, but... <clears throat> <clears throat> but now that you mention it, maybe I could try giving him, giving him a more scout voice. He is definitely the scout to this guy's uh, heavy. <clears throat> hmm. Well, in that case... I think I might have a guess as to what it is you were looking for. Shit. I don't know. I, I wasn't even listening. I tuned off because this guy was so, like, rambly. <coughs> <coughs> like a true professor. <coughs> hmm. <coughs> but it, also, he's telling the truth. My, my curse stone wasn't acting up. <clears throat> so he just be looking for the curse stones because they are re relics of the the stories no hmm All right, I... <clears throat> the Seven Mysteries of Honjo. Let's not give ourselves away, I guess. Let's play it safe and choose this. Pretend to sound like an idiot. Even though we're really not idiots. Huh. I'm surprised you know that. There is indeed a theory that the Seven Mysteries of Honjo began because of the Rite of Resurrection. Well, my theory. It's just a theory. A curse theory. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Anyways, unraveling the Seven Mysteries may reveal the secret of the Rite. I think quite a few, peop quite a few people are looking into the mysteries for that reason. Mirichio Park is connected to the story of the Taiko Sugaru, right? That's right. But that isn't the issue at hand. <clears throat> well, in that case, I think I might have a guess to what it is you were looking for. Curse stones. All right, let's. Well, what? Damn it! If you know about that, then calm down. No need to get so defensive. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Should we show it to him or not? Ah. Uh, fuck. What's the play here? Hmm, what 
what to do, what to do, what to do. Normally we would hide it, but also we're like kind of OP and this guy has, this guy uses his curse stillness leverage, right? And I don't think there are any other, wait, no, but yeah, I don't think, uh, and I'm pretty sure I know what his curse is too. Based on experience, I believe his curse is this. <clears throat> He's pulling his stones out! Dude reaches inside his pants. Alright. <sighs> Alright. We got the uh, infinity stones. Let's get... Let's uh... Yeah, you know what? Let's play bad cop. Let's show him not to fuck around. We both want information, right? But why don't we have a nice friendly chat? Uh, a curse stone! You are a curse bearer! A leaf? It is the evergreen beach, then. Yep. Will you show me yours? I knew it! This is mine. Uh, the ever burning lantern. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> you better tell us the truth. <clears throat> Considering he was trying to do shady shit with the high schooler, right? We probably should make sure we get everything from him. Squeeze every bit of information from this creepo. So, let's do it. I'll tell you this for free. The Evergreen Beach comes from a man who was hanged for spreading false rumors. But the accusations against him were unfounded and he died cursing those who deceived him. Oh, so that is the resentful memory held within the Evergreen Beach. The memories of the Seven Mysteries are truly fascinating. If only I could collect them all. Do whatever you want, but you should know something. The stone of mine lets me curse anyone who tries to mislead me. What? But... So don't try and lie to me. I'll know. You... You will curse a citizen! And you call yourself an officer of the law! That all depends on you. I don't want to use it if I don't have to. What? What is it you want? The curse stones are dangerous. I like to confiscate yours. E excuse me? Uh, but my right! First, let me ask you one thing. You. You haven't used that curse, have you? N no! Of course I haven't! I swear! <clears throat> <clears throat> Do we have a light source on us? Do we have a lighter? Does this guy smoke at all? Because if we do not have a lighter, we are screwed! How do we check our, like, inventory? Do we- can we check our inventory? See, I came in here assuming we already have a light source. I know my rights! Uh, whoa, do we have light source? Does this guy smoke? Does this guy smoke? If he, see, uh, if he smokes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, PSA, sometimes smoking is okay. Sm smoking can save your life. Because it might save mine right now. Let's, let's see here. Oh no, he likes candy desserts. <clears throat> Doesn't say anything about him smoking. How about Ariel? Does, does this guy smoke? I see. Good. Now why don't you hand over that stone? Unless you'd rather try using it on me instead. Damn you! I won't give it to you! If I were to say that, what would happen? Would it be a crime? 
The police are aware of how dangerous the stones are. I could arrest you under Article 1, Section 2 with the Minor Offenses Act. Oh yeah, he's been- he's definitely be offending a minor, for sure. All you hand it over and all you lose is your secret ability. Think of what would happen to all your research if you were arrested. Fine. You can have the stone. Oh wait, sorry. Fine. You can have the stone. Here. Yeah, that's right. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Good choice. I look forward to seeing how your research pans out. Hmm. Alright. Would you tell us everything you know about what's been going on? If you help us out, we'll give you all the information we've gotten after we solve the case. What do you say? In that case, will you let me tell all about the resentful memories of the Seven Mysteries? I believe they are key to the secret hidden in the Record of Fates. Sh uh, sure. <clears throat> sure, why not? I'll learn about them as I collect the customs. But, but thanks to you, we learn a lot from him. True, he's gonna collect all the infinity- I, I mean curse stones by the end of this game. <clears throat> but he seems like a good guy. He's like Thanos, but good. He's like the anti-Thanos. <clears throat> nah, man, we're- we're- we're like tri trio will- we are trio wielding now. Like freaking Musashi- no, not Musashi. We- we're, uh, Zoro! We're Zoro in this bitch with the cursed stones. Musashi wields two, that's right. Zoro's the one who wields three. Uh, oh yeah, just like Saijima in that ramen shootout. I wonder. The mystery isn't right at all public information. He kept everything he knows about the other curse bearers and the source of the curse here hidden. I was hoping he'd at least give us a clue about how to beat these curses. Oh, I see. Then we should be more aggressive next time. Really make them spit it out. And by we, I mean you. <coughs> uh, what was the high schooler's curse again? Uh, I think it was the fool's possession. Kills by fatal fall, one who hears its music for 30 seconds without seeing the curse bearer. So just turn off the music, or spot the curse bearer. That, that's probably the worst of the, the curses, to be honest. No, that, that or the fire one, because that one, wait, no, no. Okay, okay, chat, what, which curse you guys think is the worst so far? Because we already know this one is the most OP, the one that we have right now, the detective one. <clears throat> Whispering Canal. This one where you gotta hear a song for 30 seconds without seeing the curse bear. This one where, where it's like gotta be dark. Haunting Clappers, the fire one. Or this one where you, uh, if someone says wash, you just you just die. We got feet picks because yeah, the user is probably a smash player who never showers. We got fire one. Yeah, you know what? I'm kind of leaning towards the fire one as well. It's got to be either the fire one or the because I feel like the pro the fool's procession can work. But then what if you cover your ears right what if you plug your ears but no one's gonna do that right away they're just gonna hear a song and be like eh, it's okay this is kind of weird so i feel like it's 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 a close one between the fool's procession and the haunting clappers true but like earlier they they made a point that you can like put one on them you can just throw a lighter at them and have them catch it or you can like, uh, you know, you can sneak one, like reverse pickpocket. 
But yeah, I feel like yeah, this one is pretty situational. Or have them stand near like a lantern or yeah, again, yeah, this one's very situational. I think I'm gonna have to go with fire as well. <laughs> I'm guessing he wants to save this Gus. He wouldn't have told us anything no matter what we asked. But now we know where he hangs out. We can always send someone for him if he ne if need be. Right, got it. I was surprised to hear that there are actually nine of the seven mysteries, though. Yeah, there's two extra curse bearers we have to find. God damn it. We've conf confiscated two, so there are six more. They could be anywhere in this town. We have to find them fast, or they may start using the curses. Now, most OP thing would be like finding them at Fire Festival, or Burning Man. Or finding them at Palikana Island. Oh, sorry. We have to find them fast. Or well, they may start using the curses. No. I think we're already I think we're already too late. Too late. Huh? I didn't tell you this, but there was some soul drags in Namigaki's custom. Uh, uh, really? Then he already killed someone with it. It's not much. So it probably wasn't a curse bear. Shit. Well, we know who did it. We can make arrangements to take him into custody. We'll have paranormal affairs pick him up tomorrow. For now, we continue our search. Right. On to the next place. We just have to cross them off the list one by one. Oh. But. Boss? Hmm. Good to know we can use the Minor Offenses Act to arrest people with customs. But why don't we do that with Namigaki? If we could do that, there'd be no need for paranormal affairs. What grounds would a normal detective have to put him under arrest? Oh, right. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Yeah, Rashi about to take his anger out on the schoolgirl right now. We're at part... Two. Part two, okay. Resume? Wait, what do you mean we can't resume? Wait, what's going on? What? Oh, is it because... Uh, so we need to revisit a part of the story. Now that we have the knowledge of the curses. But which one though? So we can't do this one. All right, that went well for the detectives. I'm glad that nothing bad happened to them. I like those guys. Okay, anyways, back to... Uh... Oh, okay. Let's try our hand at this one again. Since it doesn't have like the broken glass thing, I'm guessing we can... We're supposed to do it again? La di da, la di da. Wait, or was it the glass one? Wait, no, this is the bad ending. Nothing happens. Well, you know, that's right. We just, we just get shit on. Unless we know what the curse is. Yeah, we don't, but we don't. So let's get the fuck out of here. Never mind. We, we do this later. Uh, okay, so in that case, it's got to be one of these. But which one? 
Mori, 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 Mori. Don't you radio. Let's go here. Ah, Michael Jackson. Hee hee. We're back with Miracle, Miracle Johnson. Wait, this is new. Excuse me? Hmm? Woman jump scare time? Woman jump scare time? Oh, this is new. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> uh, where did she come from? It's like she appeared out of nowhere. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm terribly sorry if I've gotten the wrong people, but <laughs> why am I giving her a British accent? Oh, I'm rolling with it. Fuck it. But would you happen to be the curse bearers? Curse bearers? What's that then? What's what's that then? Um, it means someone who's gathering souls for the right of resurrection. What could her curse be? We are at the bridge, so... Komagata Bridge. Komagata Bridge. Sumida River. Komagata Bridge. Sumida River. What, what's that connected to? Not this. The Taiko, perhaps? Midoricho. So no, this is Midoricho. Haunting Clappers. Oonji. Komogata High School. Oh, uh, we are screwed. We don't know. We don't know. Shit. Ryo Goku Bridge. Oh no, we're at Rio Goku Bridge, right? That's where we're that's where we're at. Hold up, sorry guys. Let me just try to figure out something real quick here. Our lo current location. Uh Komogata Bridge. No, we're at Komogata Bridge, right? Are we at Rio Goku or Komogata Bridge? Fuck! Well, either way, it's going to be connected. One of the bridge. Let, let's just uh, be careful here. Just pre in case this is in case this is Rio Goku Bridge. This was an infinite ro infamous rogue by the name of Tomezo, fought for a woman named Okuma. Tomezo persistently chased after Okuma, attempting to win her heart over and over again. She rejected his advances each time. Enraged by her indifference to him, Tomezo brought a dagger to a canal near Rio Goku Bridge and attacked Okuma. He cut the arm and leg off one side of her body and threw them into the canal. Ever since then, the reeds growing along the canal have only sprouted leaves on one side. Okay, so what would her curse be? Okay, to Tomizo persistently chased after Okoma, attempting to win her heart over But she rejected his advances each time. Dude's a fucking incel. Okay, got it. Enraged by her indifference to him, Tomizo... Okay, uh, something about rejecting advances. Maybe, so maybe something about rejecting advances or well, kind of, uh, like one side of the body, one side of the body. True, bro was indeed a disc, no, bro, yeah, bro, bro was a Redditor for sure. No, no, I feel like more of a Redditor. Redditor and he, like, was a mod of r slash incel. Incels. I'm sure there's, like, another incel subreddit that's recently popped up. Ah, oh, shit. You 
part of the Rite of Resurrection, haven't you? Everybody's talking about it. Color me intrigued. Care to tell me more, miss? What was your name again? Oh, silly me. I'm... Ayame Tono. University student, Ayame Tono. Oh, the worst kind of people. There's more to the right of resurrection than meets the eye, you see. So the best way to collect soul tracks is to kill other curse bearers. And that's about the size of it. I hope it wasn't too much to follow. No, no, I think I got the gist. Funny old world we live in, huh? But that's just human nature. So, are you saying you're one of the curse bearers? No, well, not quite. It's complicated. I'm not, but Yutaro is. Yutaro? Yutaro? Is that your boyfriend? Oh, heavens no! Just a friend! His full name is Yutaro Namigaki! Well, I suppose you can say we're partners in crime! Emphasis on the crime. Alright! Alright! I see where this is going. Here we go again! Let's make a fool out of this fucking nerd. Alright, let's, uh, let's go. Funny way of putting it. He's probably around here, isn't he? So, where's Utaro now? Well, about that, he's actually not a curse bearer anymore. He's more like a former curse bearer. Former? How so? I don't really know the details myself, but apparently he lost his curse stone. Ha ha! Loser! Ha ha! What a sucker! <coughs> <coughs> Typical, right? He makes such a show of being a top student only to flunk where it counts. Damn! This guy's just never gonna hear the end of it. True, he deserves he deserves every clowning he gets. So now I'm up here looking for curse bearers myself. If you want something done right. She's just she's just a fucking leech. She's even worse than that guy. Hey, lost it. How did he do that? I wasn't with him at the time, so I don't know exactly what happened. All I know is that he came back saying he didn't have it anymore. Although, well, it's strange that you'd probe into that of all things. I'm just a curious sort, that's all. Sorry if it's a touchy subject. Oh, I don't mind. I don't particularly care about keeping it a secret. Yuto can be a little irrational sometimes, so I have to keep a level head on my shoulders. She she about to cuck him for Mr. Miracle Johnson here. So anyway, mind if I ask you why I thought of you I, why you thought I was a curse bearer? Oh that I'm terribly sorry. I was so rude. I saw the two of you out late at night, and I suppose I made assumptions. Gotcha. Sorry we gave you the wrong idea. Out of interest, what was your plan if we did turn out to be curse bearers? Great question! And the answer is, I was going to ask you very nicely for your curse stones. And you thought we'd have given them to you? Just like that? Well, maybe not. But you know what they say! You never know until you ask. You must really love your boyfriend if you're willing to try something that risky. Oh, goodness, no. We're just friends. My life doesn't revolve around him, you know. Anyway, you aren't a cuss bearer, so I'm just bothering you, aren't I? Please ignore me. Yeah, for real, girl, girl is gone. So, what are you trying to do with this Rite of Resurrection? Well, Yutaro has his own plan all laid out. I don't know if I can't get behind it, though. It seems... How do I put it? Self-centered. I mean, if you got a chance to resurrect the dead, it would be a waste not to use it on someone that really matters, right? 
So I was planning to steal this custom at the last second and use it for myself. Well, until he lost it anyway. No, but don't tell Yuto I was going to do that, okay? I don't think he'd be happy to hear it. Of course, keeping secrets is my business. My, aren't you dashing? Please, take me! Sorry, girl. I only date little boys. I mean, what? I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I don't swing that way. Sounds like you really have your heart set on this ride. Uh, what were you hoping to use it on? Do you promise you won't laugh? Cross my heart. Well then, let me tell you my master plan. Prepare to be amazed. Ahem! I'm an art student, you see. Woodblock prints are my specialty. Ukiyo-e, in particular. ukiyo -e, huh? You must be a cultured lady. Really? Do you think so? Everybody says there's a strange interest we'll go to have. You know, people often think of ukiyo -e as some inaccessible high-class art form. Uh, but that's totally, actually untrue. Back in the Edo period, it was an art for masses, an amusement for the common people. So when you think about it, we feel exactly the same throws from every brushstroke as they did back then. Isn't that fascinating? Huh. Yeah, I guess. As far as I'm concerned, the undisputed king of ukiyo is the one and only Hokusai. Have you heard of him? Sure I have. He's famous. Didn't he live somewhere around here back in the Edo period? Oh, that's right! You're just as knowledgeable as you look. Please have my number. His 36 views of Mount Fuji are so iconic, they're the only works of his m most people know. But Hokusai was so much more than that mountains and wave. So much more than just mountains and waves. That's only the teeny tiny tip of veritable iceberg of work. I've got to admit, I only really know him from those landscapes myself. Oh, don't worry about it. Anyone can learn. When Hokusai died at the age of 90, he left behind over 30,000 drawings. That's multiple drawings a day for 80 years. Amazing, right? So he kept on drawing right up until his old age, huh? Impressive. But even in his final years, he was never satisfied with his own work. His dying words were, Should heaven afford me but five more years, I should, I shall finally become a true artist. What about Hokuja? What about us? Ah, 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 ah. <coughs> I tried. I don't know, man. All I gotta say is, they don't really care about us. I'm sorry. That was lame. Even on his deathbed, he still thought he had more to learn. He was already the greatest painter and artist of his era. Who knows what he could have done with more time? Well, that's what I want to find out. Hmm. Hold on. Are you saying... You're trying to waste all these souls to resurrect a dead artist? Uh, I mean... Besides, he always said he wanted to move out of a hundred houses, but he only made it to 93. Isn't that just tragic? Oh no. Nuh-uh. No way this is going where I think it's going. Imagine the masterpieces he could create with modern techniques. I feel all dizzy just thinking about it. She, she, des she deserves to die. I, I, I'm sorry, she's so insufferable. You've got to be kidding me. So, if I understand correctly, you want to use the Rite of Resurrection to... That's right! I wanted to bring Hokusai back to life! Uh, well, that's certainly a novel idea. I hate this little girl. That's what she'd use it on? What a waste. Gosh, is that the time? I should be going. I need to get my hands on a cuss bear before daybreak. 
She is so shallow and lame. Uh, sorry for flagging you down out of the blue like that. Best of luck. What a stupid little ship. Well, there goes trouble. If we're going after curse stones, we should keep an eye on her. Two if we can. Why do you say that? Before she left, she wished us best of luck. She's got at least an inkling that we're curse bearers. My. There's a good chance we'll clash sooner or later. We're after the same thing, after all. You head on back to the mansion, ma'am. I think I'll tail her for a while. All right, we get to play as Richter. Let's go. Or not. She really is a real dirty Diana. <sighs> okay, anyways. Back here again. I left Richter to, to continue looking for curse bearers. <clears throat> And came home alone. Wait, why wait? What? Would somebody be, be breaking into her home? Will this really be enough to gather the soul tricks I need? What if nobody uses any more curses? I'll lose my chance to bring him back. Let's just go in. Huh. True. Paranormal site musical win. Wait, 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 that's it? We complete the, br the branch just like that? What? What the fuck? Okay. Well, that leaves only one more branch to complete here. But where do we go? Is this the door or whatever? Okay, this time we just ignore and proceed. Uh, we didn't need to check it out, right? Let's hurry and get out of here. Maybe. The person who used that curse echo may be in there. If we can just see who it is, it could help us later. Right. Okay, just a glimpse. Be careful. <clears throat> So our choices really didn't matter. Oh, I just realized that the mistake we made would be to use the curse. I won't let him get away with this. What? The curse. I could kill him with it. No, Yako, you can't use the curse stone. What's gotten into you? Resist it. Who's there? I, who's there? Is someone there? This is bad. We have to go before they see us. Did our choice matter? I feel like... Okay, this is deja vu. Ah, shit, here we go again. Run! No, Theory, no! Stop! No! Stop it. 
Stop. Like, actually, stop it. Okay, somebody's there, right? I'm not acting out. What about you? Should be should should you be smoking on school grounds? Uh, well it ain't lit, so it's all right. It's you know an accessory. Hey, don't go changing the subject. There's just no letting my guard down with you. So, why are you here so late? Well, um, the truth is I forgot something in my classroom. Again, you sure are a piece of work. Hmm. You don't have nothing with you. Oh, wait, you do. You do? What's that in your hand? Okay, deja vu. Uh... Is it is it when we meet the creepo teacher? Is that what happens? Is that why? Is that the branching path or something? Unless he already had his thing taken away. Oh, wait, what? Oh, this is new. I missed some dialogue. Well, it's way past the 10 minutes meals I should be here by. I managed to escape. I can't let that go to waste. I need to get out of here before anybody sees me. Smart. Okay. We're back home. Hopefully nobody followed us on our way home. <sighs> I'm home. Thank goodness. I don't think the walk has ever felt so long. Nobody will be able to use their curse once it's light outside. I need to go look for Mio as soon as it's morning. But for now, I need some rest. Hey! Hey! Okay, let's do one more. <coughs> Well, with this, we'll have visited every place connected to the Seven Mysteries. This is the last spot, uh, and we've got nothing to show for it. Even though every last location looked suspect from top to bottom. Maybe we came at the wrong time. Uh, why do I keep saying it like that? Maybe we came at the wrong time. There might not be any cuss bearers around. Sounds like we need to do another round before morning comes then. Or maybe someone's been observing our movements. This is the work of an enemy stand. What? No way. It's just a thought. Either way, we should check out this last place. Let's hope we finally get a lead. Oh no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell is this? Is he dead? Damn it. We were too late. Was this a curse too? Hang on. I'm going to call this in. I'll leave it to you. I'm going to take a look around.
Boss, bad news. What is it? Another mysterious death was reported in the area just now. The medical unit and forensics team are on their way, but it will be a while before they arrive. Ah, that is bad news. So they got someone else. You think this is the worst, the work of a curse bearer? With suspicious deaths popping up one after another, we have to assume it is. Shit. Guess we'll be stuck waiting around for a while. Poor guy. Oh? Huh? Boss, that phone is ringing. No way, the fucking payphone? Oh shit! Oh no! Fuck! Well, we better go check it out. You you know shit's about to go down when the fucking public payphone starts ringing. You're right, but be careful. It could be a curse. Hey, I said we. You expect me to go alone? You you're dying with me. You're the one who's tough against this stuff. Don't worry, boss. You can do it. Go on now. Damn it. <laughs> I like this little moment of being scared. Susumi has. That, that's funny. He is human after all. Uh, hello? Kinchi Boy Park, phone boo. Evening, Detective Susumi. How are things looking out there? Who is this? Wahahaha. I finally got him. The real deal. Detective Tetsu Tetsuo Suzumi himself. Oh wait, that's Chief Inspector Suzumi now, isn't it? You've come a long way since we last we last met. I asked you to identify yourself. Man, have you forgotten already? After all the time we spent together. What a time that was. As I recall, I gave you quite the runaround. Wait, is this... Oh, oh, shit! Fumichika Nejima? Fumichika Nejima? Fumichika Nejima. What? Did you say Fumichika Nejima? Fumichika, sorry. Fumichika Nejima? Uh, like, like the one for the Nejima murders? What voice should I give him? Ding, ding, ding. You got it. I had a feeling that the great chief Susumi would remember me. I spent 20 long years in a cell thanks to you. That shit was not easy. You should be thanking me. I should have given you plenty of time to think and atone for your sins. Wow! <laughs> that it did! I've repented! My conscience is as clean as a whistle! Bullshit. 20 years in prison doesn't even begin to make up for the shit you did. I don't know about that. After all, the justice system was gracious enough to grant me parole. What? If this is the real Fumichika, ne Fumichika Nejima, he must still have a grudge against me for arresting him. So is this payback? Damn it. What is your goal? Now, now, you gotta understand. I've repented, seen the light. I've been a good boy since I was granted parole. I even got myself a job. I've been real serious about walking the right path. Well, that's very nice. Keep it up. But it was no good. When the opportunity arose, it was impossible to hold myself back. I knew I had to give you a little token of things, or I'd truly never be able to have a fresh start. Do you get what I'm saying? No thanks. I don't need anything. No need to do all that for me, just try to live a quiet life. Oh, it's no hassle. No hassle at all. It would be all too easy to just kill you, to tear you apart. But. That wouldn't be very satisfying. Certainly not after 20 fucking years of waiting. That's a long time to nurture your grudge. You fucking bet it is. I let it gnaw at me, grow inside of me. I thought of nothing else. All that time, I played model prisoner, endured the harassment those asshole guards threw at me. And I did it all for you, Susumi. 
So please, just accept my deepest and most sincere feelings. Sorry, but I'm afraid I don't feel the same way about you. Shut the fuck up! That attitude of yours is why I'm saving you for last. What are you planning? Whatever it is, bring it on. I'm not running away. I just told you I'm not coming for you yet! Pay attention for one. Pay attention when people talk, shithead! You see, this time, this time I want to see you on your knees, weeping in despair, begging me for mercy. Wah! Oh no, I'm so sorry, Dionegima. Please forgive me, I will do it again. Shut the fuck up! This is exactly why I've always hated you so fucking much! By the way, I, I, I love Susumu's just the sense of humor there. It was worth a shot. Did you really think that would sate me, asshole? You must be crazy. Well, then we're both crazy. We got so much in common, we should be friends. And you're cracking your jokes while you still can. I'm going to kill everyone you care about. One by one, till there's no one left. Sorry to disappoint, but I'm a lone wolf. I don't have anyone like that in my life. Uh, boss? What about me? Or oh, wait, uh, are you just trying to protect me? There's not a single person you care about. I wonder what your sweet daughter would think if she were to hear that. <clears throat> Don't you fucking dare! I'm warning you! Ooh, very nice! This is more like it! She's living all on her own now, isn't she? Attending university and all, such a good girl. Oh my, don't tell me that she just happens to live in Hongjo. What? She does? No, forget it. This isn't funny, asshole. I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna make you pay! Ah, I love it! Keep going! I want to hear you lose your mind! It's like music to my ears! Uh, uh, fuck you! I look forward to chopping up your precious daughter. It'll be just like old times. <clears throat> I'll let that happen. How do you know who I am? <laughs> That's my favorite part. The sound of confusion in your voice. It is to die for. Mmm, this is delicious. I can't get enough. I'm not telling you shit. Have fun racking your tiny little brain for it. Hmm, <laughs> I guess I could give you a little hint. Go on. Well, you see... I have the one-sided read. <coughs> Susumi, you have the evergreen beach, no? Nejima! You're a curse bearer? You're using the power of the curse? Indeed. And what a peculiar curse it is. Oh my god, that is a dreaded combination. Duke can make like the most egregious of demands and just get away with it. Bro, this, this is the... This is the fucking matchup. This is a fucking wild matchup right now. Holy shit. Indeed. And what a peculiar curse it is. But that's where my hints end. <laughs> God damn it. The curse echo couldn't have fallen to worse hands. Ah, <sighs> uh, one more thing we should discuss. In fact, it's the most important thing. That you were finally gonna shut up. I'm already sick of you, so I'll pass. Oh, but you don't want to miss this. It's the main course. I could, could just go after your daughter, but something tells me you'd get bored. No, I'm good. It got me real fired up. You're in my head. Well done. But this is a gift Tiller made for you. 
I'm going to kill all the people you swore to protect. Every last person living here. You couldn't. Oh, but with this curse of mine, I can. I'll give you until dusk. By then, I could probably get a couple of hundred people or so. And it'll be all your fault. Oh, it must be so hard to know they'll all die because of you. So tragic. It must be tearing your heart apart. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. There's no way an amateur like you could pull off a curse that strong. Unfortunately for you, I absolutely can. My curse stone is a particularly strong one, which means I can have my fun without needing to hold back one bit. It's almost like the Feast of Shadows was cast just for me. Okay, so is the is the generator guy the, the curse? Is the generator guy Nejima? Holy shit, if that, that was. That caught me off guard. You're surprisingly well informed about this. Who is it that tipped you off? Hmm. Who knows? Was it the fucking pr the, the teacher dude? Then how about I kill myself first and ruin all your fun? What about that asshole? Idiot! You think I'd call it off just because you were dead? There's no running away for you. <sighs> I'll find you and I'll kill you. I won't let you get away with this, Najima. You've got 12 hours. Do you really think your paltry little organization will be able to make a dent in my plans? Oh, the sacrifices made will be heavy. I can't wait to see you sobbing with regret. <laughs> and I'll even have enough soul drags to pull off the run of resurrection. How splendid! Wait, Nejima, you're after the... Anyway, see you around. Bye-bye now. Yeah, this. I guess I did call it Theory. Holy shit. Damn. Who would have thought? Boss! Ariel. Ariel. Did you catch all that? Najima, what is he planning? Who knows? For now we need to find him and get him to custody. Send a word to HQ. But the fact that the seven mysteries are wrapped up in this are gonna make things tricky. You mean with Najima being a curse bearer? Just our luck, really. Oh, I couldn't have been a worse guy. Sounds like his cousin will be able to kill a lot of people at once. I like to avoid getting our investigators caught in the crossfire. We're used to them find out where he is. But then, we're going in alone. We should try to collect as many customs as we can for them. Let's hurry. Aye aye, boss! <clears throat> Later. It was reported that a total of three suspicious deaths were discovered that night. Najima's threats, along with the curses, were kept secret from the general public. However, the Honjo serial killings still made international headlines following the death of police officer Hajime Yoshimi. At Susumi's request, a large-scale investigation was launched into Fumich Fumichika Najima's whereabouts. Susumi and Ariel themselves spent the rest of the night looking for curse bears in the area, but their search ended in vain. And with that, the curtain closed on that cursed night. Twelve hours to sunset. That is wild. Okay, there's a lot more to go on. There's a lot more to do here. But, ah, uh, man, it's getting late, guys. Holy shit, the plot thickens, though. Holy shit, we're, we're in... Th this is some crazy shit going on right now. I kind of want to... I kind of want to play more of this. Tomorrow. Make it spooky Sundays. What what say you? But then again, we also have S Star Fox Sundays. We gotta finish Star Fox. Ah oh, man, what to do here? Yeah, they really did pull the JoJo to be continued here. Oh my goodness, that's some crazy shit. Ah, uh, but this is gonna be good. This is gonna be 
hella spooky. But yeah, let me think. What what should we do? What should we do? Man, should we? Should, I, I really want to play more of this though. It's so tempting. But gotta keep it consistent. How about how about I finish Star Fox Sundays, and if we have time, we convert it to Spooky Sundays. How about that? But at the same time, I also wanted to. Hey, let's go with your more. Yes, join the Paranormal Site Gang. Let's go, Paranormal Squad. We the Paranormal Squad. Paranormal Sunday. I I like that. that that's got a nice ring to it. Spooky, spooky, <laughs> just for this week, let's do spooky Sundays. But okay. In that case, seems like y'all are down. Down with this idea. Down for more spooky shit this weekend. I am down. This is a good ass game. Holy shit. Critton, if you're watching this, hi. Sorry I never got to this game until now. But I'm, I'm so glad I did. Haha. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much, guys, for tuning in. That was a fun session. And uh, I hope I, I look forward to doing it again. Maybe soon. Maybe tomorrow. Who knows? Anyways, y'all have a good day or night or rest of whatever. Have a good one. Y'all take care of yourselves. Stay safe. And good night.